Hello friends, welcome again. In this video, let's understand a bit about uh, AWS EC2 dashboard because that's what we are going to use mostly. And uh, just to uh, understand the uh, Amazon Web Services uh, dashboard, or you can you can call the console uh, maybe. Uh, we have. Uh, different services related to uh, different types of uh, resources, compute, storage, database, networking, the networking, and the developer tools, management tools, security and identity analytics, and uh, internet of things, IoT, mobile services, game development, and application services. If you see that there are, and enterprise applications. There are so many of uh, services available, but right now we are using uh, only EC2, and that is Elastic Cloud Computing, and virtual servers in the cloud. They are nothing but EC2 or, uh, servers are nothing but uh, the virtual servers, or the instances which are, we are running are virtual servers running. Go forward and click the EC2, and you see that uh, we are running two instances. What we are mostly interested in uh, creating just two instances, nothing more. So you see that when we create instance, it has got a name, and that is the tag. It has got an instance ID, the type, what type of uh, uh, res uh, resource it is, whether it's micro, mini, or whatever, and availability zones. And uh, okay, here uh, this signifies something. The first US West is nothing but the region and 2A is the availability zone. So what is the region and what is availability zone? Uh, let's go and uh, see a bit more about these two. Uh, so when I go to uh, AWS Amazon site, if you see that what are the global infrastructure they have, you see these uh, circles, okay? These are the nothing but the regions. So in US, you see that there are four regions and these are the two new regions coming up. But at this point, we have four regions and each regions has got multiple availability zones. And what is availability zones? These are all uh, nothing but uh, redundant uh, data centers to support multiple instances. If one instance goes down, how another instance, like we can run simultaneously in different availability zones. So, uh, and what is a region is a region is nothing but a physical uh, data center or physical location. If you see that a region is nothing but a physical location in the world where we have multiple availability zones. So one region have multiple availability, availability zone. Here you see that we have each number signif signifies the number of availability zones available. Uh, this is US East. Uh, and US West, there are, uh, in fact, uh, three out of them is a uh, two West and one is the government, okay? And the AWS government cloud is the two and there are two availability zones. Oregon, uh, this is a uh, West region and California is also West region. So East, two West regions and one uh, government cloud. Uh, so, and how many availability? In the East, we have five availability zone in the North Virginia and so on and so forth. In India, there is availability zone. We in Singapore one, Sydney one, Tokyo one and three availability zones and so on and so forth. So uh, these are all regions and availability zones. So here uh, we see that we are running in the West region and we are running in the one instance is running into A and another is running into B. Now go for and uh, see we are uh, we have allocated the key pair as uh, my demo key pair, and uh, this is security group. So when we created the instance, we uh, actually uh, it has uh, so we can see go here security group. I'm interested in telling something more about it because I want the both the instances to be in the same security group. So here when we created. Uh, it uh, created actually two separate uh, security groups and I'll, uh, the instances were put in both. So what I am going to do is I'm, I have done already that I'll, I'll go, the, uh, go for the instances 
um, and uh, see that uh, select one one by one if you can check uh, go to the network setting and here if you see that you can change actually the security group here instead of uh, which I had previous one while creating the uh, VM one or instance one it created this uh, security group now I'm going to actually change it so previously I had this now I change it to a default so that it is the default VPC security group okay same thing I have done uh, for this group as well uh, for this instance uh, you have gone and changed the uh, security group to the default so each VM or instance I have in the same security group so that I don't have to have any special uh, requirement for uh, allowing the ports or uh, networking uh, changes I, I don't need to do that that's about it and um, then um, we have a public DNS and this is nothing but we if you are uh, installing any web server or something like that actually I can access those servers from the public domain by this uh, DNS um, name and I have a public IP I have uh, key pairs and uh, we have already seen that and here in the description we have uh, some more some more information what is the VPC ID uh, VPC is nothing but virtual private cloud okay sub which subnet it is and what is the interface network interface and so on and so forth and what are the root devices uh, dev SDA one block device uh, okay so both are uh, same so these are the uh, details I just wanted to uh, tell before we move forward uh, I think uh, I'm done with the basics of uh, let's go and see our next video thank you